Alrighty, oh, there's this trend going around, as they do, because trends go around, go around, go around. No idea what it is, just heard a thing or two from another person here or there. Um, so I'm just gonna go and dry. I didn't look anything into it. But from what I gather, it's just more normalized Western misandry. So let's see. I found this Reddit video called Even Men Should Pick the Bear. It's a discussion thread or whatever the fuck. And we're gonna check it out. So let's jump right into it. Press. There's no play. way y'all would rather be trapped in the woods with a bear over a man. All right, let's break this down so everybody understands why you should, yes, should choose a bear over a man. Not even just women, honestly, everybody should pick the bear. Reason number one, a bear is not gonna. So, I guess the question is, whether, would you rather be trapped in the woods with a man or a bear? Interesting. Uh, interesting question. Is it a would you rather question? Uh, I guess just off of that by itself, like, that's not enough info. <laughs> so trapped presumably means lost with a man or a bear. Now, without any context, a bear is a wild animal that is just adhering to its basic nature. A man is a human. I, like, I, what is that? <laughs> um, a man or a bear. With, like, you can't answer that without context. Is the man Jeffrey Dahmer? Is the bear a polar bear? I'd rather go with Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> I feel like I could take on Jeffrey Dahmer over a fucking polar bear. But like, just default by... Everyone has their own ideas as to what all this shit means. Alright, I can't give you the answer to that because that's a stupid ass question. So let's just hear what these have to say. It's not going to act any differently when it realizes there aren't any witnesses. The bear is going to act like a bear. However, there are quite a few men who will act very differently upon the realization that nobody else is watching. Reason number two, bears do not want to talk to you. If a bear knows you are in the woods... So number one... Bear won't act differently. It's a wild creature. So if it's hungry, it's going to eat you. If it's doing its own thing, it, it, uh, it may or may not eat you. If it has cubs around, it may fucking maul you to death because you're in its territory. It depends on a lot of shit. For a, a man? Sure. If the man is like a criminal or like a rapist or like... Is this like... What are you trying to imply here? Is this your default like means of logic and reasoning? You think that like... Most men, if they're just, there's no one around, they're going to just, like, take advantage of you. I'm guessing that they're coming from the place of a woman, like a perspective of a woman. If you ask them, you're going to get a different fucking opinion from each person. And I bet you most of the people who are answering, I'd rather be stuck with a bear, are probably people who hate men or have had bad experiences with, with men. What if you ask a man? What if you're, you're trapped in the woods with a woman? Would you rather play, do a woman or a bear? Well, a bear could maul you to death. And a woman could falsely accuse you of something. Isn't that what women do? Isn't that just what they're known for? Because they're female, right? The same way men are known for, for just abusing and sexually assaulting, right? Is that how that works? Is this our logic? God damn. What are you people trying to imply here? Honestly. Woods, it will literally leave you alone. You will never see it. This is why the biggest safety advice to anybody who's camping in bear country is just to make noise. If you're with a group of people, have conversations. If you're by yourself, periodically just shout bear. They also sell bells that you can hang on yourself if you're a solo hiker that will continually make noise to let grizzlies and black bears know that you're in the area. So, so long as you do not surprise them, it's very unlikely that you will encounter a bear. Millions of people camp every single year all across bear country and very few of them have any direct bear encounters at all and very few of those bear encounters are ever even lethal whereas if a man is alone in the oh god so would you does that also mean you wouldn't encounter the man if you're lost in because it's it's the same you know la large empty woods there's a chance that you may or may not run into something or another thing it's like also i don't believe you on those bear statistics on what you're saying you ever hear of the grizzly man yeah that was a man who voluntarily trapped himself with bears so that he can study them. And you want to know what fucking happened? He got eaten alive alongside his wife who was living with him out, out there camping alongside him with a bear. But he loved the bear so much, he's like, no, don't kill the bear. Let it do. It's just a natural animal. They came across as his, his half-eaten remains like weeks later or something. Also, what bear are you talking to? So you, browns and grizzly bears. This is a hypothetical scenario. Would you want to be trapped with a polar bear? Polar bears actively hunt humans. Those things are fucking terrifying creatures that will maul you to death because they're hungry. They just got to eat anything. What the fuck, dude? We're, we're speaking in hypotheticals right here, right? The same way that you're presuming that if you come across a man in the woods by yourself that he's going to just sexually assault you. It's, it's crazy. That's funny. So, like, we're allowed to just be, like, prejudiced based on statistics? Is that what's going on? So, men are violent, monstrous psychopaths who 
rape and murder. Women are manipulated, manipulative, delusional parasites who just siphon all your, your resources and effort from you. Is that how that works? Is this how we should view each other? What's with the reaffirming of the, uh, the hatred towards other people just based on what they are? What if you replace man with, with black person? Is that fair? Oh, look at statistics. Therefore, you're allowed to just like think that they're gonna, they're gonna rob you and destroy you? I'm brown. I, I have to deal with that, that bullshit all, all the time. And people are just like, yeah, it's like, people are afraid of me extra because I'm a young brown male. How is that fair to me? How does, how do you think that makes me feel? Knowing that like people are by default afraid of me and somehow it's like, that's on me. That's my fault just because of what other people do. How is that fair? I've had people profile me. I've had people call the police while I was like walking down my own street. I've had people when I walk past them on the street, either cross the street or like literally clutch their handbag because they think I'm going to fucking rob them or something. How, what do you think that does to people that, that alienates people that makes them feel like, you know, they're monsters in the eyes of others, especially if you treat them like that. And they're probably going to be more apt to act like that. If that's how they've been treated. If you put somebody, a prisoner in a prison and you torture them, you're going to turn them into an animal and then you let them out. Then they do some wild shit. Oh, that, that, I didn't expect this. Turns out when you treat people with lack of basic human decency and humanity, they're going to manifest that. What do you think that, what, what does this mindset do? How is this fair? Like, do, do you all, have you, this is a culture that despises men. Other people are telling people like this to believe this shit. Your average normal person would be like, not everyone. The same way if a guy is shitting on a woman, right? Oh, this is what she does, this and that. She takes advantage, manipulates lies. Not every woman, not all of them. Sure, there's, there's plenty who do, but not all. So is that fair just because these guys over here do this? Clearly there's enough of a, a general decree that enough people are saying this, that like someone is telling them to say this. This is like normalized in this culture to the, this hateful misandrous bullshit. How about like, I don't know, try to give people benefit of the doubt and i can understand why you wouldn't right humans by themselves i'm a fucking misanthrope so i just i don't like humans because of human nature humanity not because by default humans are like i believe humans are capable of not be of succumbing to their natural uh let's just say natural tendencies okay yeah i'm going on a tangent here just by man or bear in the woods you can't know that so let's hear what this guy has to say as to, as to why you should uh, be afraid of men. Woods with a woman and they hear a noise, they will likely do the exact opposite and go towards that source where they know there is another person. Especially if this is a nefarious man who knows that the other person in the woods is smaller and weaker than them. Reason number three, bears do not want to attack people. If you get attacked by a bear, it is almost certainly just due to one of two reasons. Either one, you startled it, or two, you ran across a mama bear with her cubs. And since you're alone with this bear, I think we can assume that this is not a mama bear with her cubs. Or it's hungry? Or it just has an inkling to kill? Or it's run across... What about the bears from the... Actually, let's take it from the bear's perspective. What if the bears only ever encountered angry, shitty humans who would attack it and be afraid and has, like, caused damage to the bear? Would the bear be more inclined to fucking maul it to death? If the bears... Because that's where the bears... What about the bear? Bears rights, right? If the bears only ever encountered shitty humans, it's probably going to think that of everyone else, huh? Because bears have a, some degree of a sentience to be able to understand these things. Like this guy's definitely American because clearly this is a cultural thing, like the indoctrination to just despise a bunch of people based on a single uh, attribute that they possess, which is great. That's just hilarious. This is not a mama bear with her cubs. However, there are men that do enjoy hurting and taking advantage of others and will rush to the opportunity to do that once given the chance. Oh, a lot of presumption. So, you, so just based on the question itself, you're presuming that it probably isn't a mama bear, but if there's a man, then they're probably gonna take advantage of other people because that's just what men do. That's just what... That's not a human thing. That's a specific to male thing. Women don't take advantage. They don't hurt other people. They don't abuse. It's, it's, it's great. God, what a disgusting, worthless species we are, man. Number four, bears are very predictable. If you've ever gone camping before, you've likely been taught how to scare off a bear. You make yourself really big and make a lot of noise, and most of the time they just run off. Now tell me, if you were a woman alone in the woods, how would you scare off a man? There is not a fucking answer to that question. Remember, the question is not, would you rather get into a fist fight with a man or a grizzly bear? The question is, would you rather be stuck in the woods with either a man or a bear? And considering the bear almost certainly wants nothing to do with you and therefore will not pay you any attention, you should choose the bear. That's funny. You're making presumptions. Why do you think the man would immediately want something to do with you? 
Is it because if you get around another person when you're lost or trapped in the woods, you'll have a higher chance of survival? How do you know that the man's going to be out to get you? How do you, not, how do you know that the bear's not going to be out to get you for whatever reason the bear has? The bear's angry, had bad experience with humans. The bear's hungry. The bear is cubs. The bear's territorial. The bear's a polar bear. You're just making shit up so that you can make dudes look as bad as possible. Alrighty. Um, so that's that. So, moral of the story is, uh, and this is a message to just dudes in general. If you're, if you're a male living in the West, in America specifically, because that's where I'm coming from, my advice to you, take receipts, because everyone's out to, because people hate you for just what you are. And, and that's not your fault. You just exist. You were brought into the world due to somebody else's volition. You can't control that stuff. So keep receipts. Keep an eye on what you're doing. Or the best thing to do is to just get the fuck out of here. Leave the country. Get away from pieces of shit like this who think that, like, it's okay to be predated against you. See, I get the double whammy. I'm, I'm, both a, I'm both a young male and I'm brown. And I live in a culture that hates the, both of those things. I'm trying my absolute hardest to get the fuck out of this place. To live in a country where, like, people aren't conditioned to fucking despise each other just because other people told them to. It's not the same everywhere else. People aren't as disgusting, like, shitty and selfish just like this everywhere else. There are better places in the world where, like, you can walk down the street as both a man and woman and feel totally safe. Not in America, though. Remember, this is a hateful, backward piece of shit country. Yeah, it's not your fault that people hate you just for what you are. You just live in a time and place where that, that's just normal. And people are going to hate you for what you are, despite what you do. Despite what you try to do to show to them that you're, you're not a threat. So... Yeah, to men out there, be careful. People kind of hate you for what you are, and that's not your fault. Don't let them th make you think that that is your fault. Unless you did something that merits that. But, like, you have to do something first for that to be merited. Otherwise, that's just people's prejudices towards you. So, fuck them. Disregard them. They don't matter.